what's up hi how's it going yesterday we were kind of all over the place it was kind of a awkward weird day we just kind of had to cram a lot of trying to get stuff done into a small amount of time and then we had a little more free time and a little less to do we have been listening to the podcast up and vanished about tara grinstead and her disappearance um in 2005 and it's been pretty interesting. Other YouTubers, like when it first came out, were listening to it and like talking about it and everything. And I'm the kind of person that when something's really big, I don't really want to do it. I don't want to listen to it. I don't want to watch it. I don't want anything to do with it. Like the Twilight series. When Twilight was really popular, I was like, okay, I want nothing to do with it then. So now that it's kind of died down and it's like less of a thing, I'm listening to it because we listened to Crime Town like right after we first got here and that one was really interesting so I was like we need like another investigative crimey type podcast to listen to because that's the kind of stuff we like listening to when we drive around instead of just listening to music we listen to stuff like this because it's keeps you on your toes but we're over here on Simbok Travis just had to get some change um, we're trying to find vehicle registration Transportation. Oh, vehicle registry. Oh. Right there. We'll just drive for a minute though. Because we're getting a trailer from a guy, like a big trailer, not just a small trailer. And we need to sign it over today. But we don't actually get to take it home today because he needs it until like the end of the month. When does he need it till exactly? The 28th. He's put it off long enough. Yeah, this, yeah. They were supposed to meet like a week ago. Yeah. But he forgot. And then the no, well, the thing is, he told me the day before, hey, can you meet me tomorrow at this place, at this time? Perfect. Yeah, let's meet. And then I text him, oh, I forgot, I'm working on my car. I'm like, what the hell, man? That's not how this works. Yeah. So that's what we have to do today. And then at noon, Travis has to go to work to do uh, some training work certifying nonsense. <laughs> so of course we can't transfer the trailer right this second because the insurance didn't go through and the insurance has to be on the trailer in their system before you can register it in your name. So we called them, I think so, probably either one. We called them and we're waiting. They have this little Java cafe. So we're gonna come in here. Travis is probably starving. I don't often like to impugn people's intelligence, but this guy is about as smart as a box of rocks. We finally got insurance so that it was ready to go. Zero eight to three is when they're open. And he disappears. He was freaking gone. <laughs> and walked off. It's 11.17, Travis has to be at work at noon and it's a 30 minute drive, so we really can't like you don't know that it's only gonna take five to 10 minutes. You can't start the process and be like, oh, well, I gotta go. Yeah. So now we have to leave. We found him walking back from the shopette and he's like, oh, well, you know, we can just do it real quick. I brought the trailer. You can't even tow the trailer with this, can you? And Travis is like, no, you said you needed it until the 28th. He's like, oh, well, I brought it and I just sold the car I towed it here with. This, yeah. <laughs> Why is there so many one ways in this space? I don't know. It sucks, you can't get anywhere. Yeah. So now Travis gotta go back to work. Well, to work. And then we're gonna hopefully come back here at some point tomorrow. But tomorrow's really the only day Travis has off because he was supposed to have yesterday and today off, but training. So. <laughs> Calvin and I are now sitting out front of the commissary eating deli food. By deli food, I mean deli meat. He has some chicken nuggets. I got a thing of roast beef, a thing of buffalo chicken breast, some pepper jack cubes, and some American cheese cubes just to kind of snack on. And I wanted something kind of carbonated, so I got one of these sparkling ice drinks. We're kind of just hanging out waiting for Travis because he said he'll be done within like the next 45 minutes, so like before four. And I don't know if we have to go back and get the trailer later today. I don't know. So we're kind of just waiting. He said they'd be done soon, so I'm just eating. <laughs> I'm starving. I had some oatmeal for breakfast and some leftover steak from our tacos yesterday. Man, I was starting to feel my tummy grumble. 
So the way licensing a vehicle works here, you have to have insurance on it before you can get it registered in your name. And it has to be insured enough in advance that it's gonna show up in the system on base that you do have insurance on it. If it's not in the system, like you only have it via email or from the website that you have insurance through, doesn't count. It has to be in their system. And that was the issue we ran into earlier today was that it showed up on our policy the trailer was on our policy on our end, but it hadn't gone like all the way through the paper trail to get to like registration side. So that's what we had to wait for earlier. With a car, I guess it's a lot faster though, and you can put insurance on it, and then within a couple hours, it can be in the system. With a trailer, I guess supposedly they have to do it like all by hand. They have to like hand type everything. It's not just all done online. I don't understand exactly. I thought it was all just all typed. But the lady said that they had to hand do trailer insurance. For, I don't know. But anyways, that it was gonna take a little bit longer. So that's what was taking so long with the trailer getting insured. They open back up tomorrow at eight o'clock. So Travis wants to be there at eight o'clock tomorrow to get it finalized because this guy is a dodo bird and I don't know how he's made it this far in life being this much of a space cadet. Cause you left the trailer where like, it's a bad place to put it. Where people drive. Yeah. That's a bad place. And someone will steal it if they, if they don't have a trailer. He looked at this car, he's like, you don't have a trailer hitch on here, do you? Travis is like, no. He's like, I thought I couldn't take it until the 28th. Oh, well I leave on Tuesday, you can take it today. This guy. But while I'm on the topic of vehicle registration and registering things, if there's anyone that has any questions, like anyone that is moving here that has any questions about like shipping a car or registering a vehicle or anything like that and you want me to make a video on things like that, let me know. Um, I've gotten a couple of messages recently that people are moving here. I don't know if it's because it's PCS season or what, but there has been um, more interest in like moving here and questions about here and I don't mind the questions at all. Like I really do enjoy helping people. That's a big part of this channel is that people find us if they're moving here or moving wherever and they have a little bit of reassurance knowing that it's kind of just a normal place to live and that it's not that scary that yeah you're moving to another country but it's really not that bad it's really not anything different it's nothing to be afraid of and I want to ease some people's minds about that or if they have any questions I want to be able to help so if you do have questions if you stumble across one of our videos and you want to know something please feel free to ask I really don't mind it's almost nine o'clock and it's surprisingly light out still. We just went and saw Super Troopers 2 with the boy. Super Troopers 2 was really good. It was funny. Travis used to watch the first Super Troopers quite a bit and loved that one. So of course when they came out with the second one, we knew we needed to go and see it or see it at some point eventually. We knew we needed to, but it was really good. So if you haven't seen it, definitely watch it because it was pretty funny especially if you've seen the first one and liked it if you didn't see the first one watch the first one first and if you watched the first one and didn't like it maybe you don't want to watch the second one but we enjoyed it at the Nürburgring again. <laughs> Travis is like, I wanna see if they have anything going on today. So we drove up here, and there's some event, I think. I think they're setting up for today. Yeah, there's like a smaller one I think today. It's, it said something May 26th, and then there's something June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Oh, but I have to pee. So we parked, and we're walking up the tracks right here. So we'll see if we can see anything. And Calvin's running ahead so he can see it first. See anything? We finally found a spot we could actually see something. Unlike the last time we came here, when it was winter time and there was no one on the track except for maintenance.
tiny bit starving now, but holy fuzz. And there's fuzzies in your way, just blow them out of your way. Yeah, there's a bunch of cotton everywhere. So we're coming to the store and gonna get some snacks so we can go back to another lookout spot. Look at it all, it looks like snow on the ground. This part of town is so cute. Where's that dog? There he is! There he is! Hi! That was my baby! Oh, that was my dog! Guys, we're getting grass in the front yard. Do you see it growing? Slowly but surely it's growing. Maybe in like a year it'll look like the other side, if we're lucky. Diggy dog, diggy dog, diggy dog, diggy dog! Oh, Ziggy, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, my doggy! You're so soft from your bath yesterday. You're so soft. Yes, you are. What happened here? <laughs> He's just following you. Go outside. Oh, it's kind of nice and warm in here. Go outside, sweet dog. What are you doing? Hi. Oh, you fit in there nicely. I want to play with Ziki because he's been by himself. My poor dog's been all alone. You're so sweet. What if I throw it this way again? It's over there! Crazy dog! Because I gave him a bath and now he's all soft. Just picture like the softest dog you've ever felt. It feels like Zeke. Hi! Yes, you're so sweet. What if I throw it this way? after midnight. I've already done my workout. Travis is already taking a nap. Calvin's asleep and I've uh, showered. Braided my hair so tomorrow it'll be curly. Yay! Unfortunately when we were at the track earlier we moved spots. We were just trying to check out a couple of like different lookout spots that we could go to and um, we didn't end up really finding another good one like the one that we were at. Um, we did, however, get some food, so we had some snacks for the way back. But once we had gotten to the second place that we went to, we like walked up this hill and down this trail and blah, blah, blah. Um, cars stopped coming by <laughs> and it was like four o'clock. So I don't know if they were like done for the day or what was going on, but there was no more cars. So we left, headed home. Once we got home, Travis took a bit of a nap because he goes back to work tomorrow, like on a night shift. My allergies are still killing me. I'm gonna try to stay up for a little bit though, maybe work on some videos, maybe not. I don't really know what I'm doing, except for not standing, because the leg workout that I just did was pretty intense, so I don't even wanna have to be on my legs. So whatever I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be sitting. Whether it's sitting at my desk or sitting on the couch with Travis, I'm gonna be sitting. Hi, Ziggy Bear. You're such a sweet dog. Does it get any sweeter than this face? Yeah. 
Yeah, feel good? Well, we had a really good day. We will definitely go back at some point. I don't know when. Maybe next time we plan to go, we'll actually plan to go. And it won't just kind of be like spur of the moment thing. And we could maybe plan it when there's an event. I know next weekend there's an event going on, but we may or may not go back. We'll see. I don't know. Next weekend we're probably going to be celebrating Calvin's birthday and doing some friend, co-worker friend things. <laughs> So we'll see. Do you want me to notice? But we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up for us and subscribe if you haven't done that. <laughs> Before now, that is that. We will see you when we see you. Bye. 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 Do 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 do. Nice catch, you fell right on your booty. You're so cute. <laughs>